first began in 2010, Cody emphasized how important plural marriage was to him and his wives. Although he was not raised in this lifestyle, he eventually converted when he was in his early 20s. Along with his father, the two men had always professed the Mormon faith, but they were a different group. Cody married Mary, who was raised in the faith of polygamy, so they knew they would end up taking more wives. They became close to Janelle, who was actually married to Mary's brother. Through her, Cody's father met Cheryl, Janelle's mother, and she became his first spiritual wife. Soon after, Janelle divorced her brother Mary, and she liked the idea of polygamy. She joined the Brown family as Cody's second wife, while Christina became the third wife. Kristen, like Mary, grew up in a large family, so this was the path she was destined to take. In 2010, Cody began courting Robin, who was also a product of polygamy, but she and her first husband did not take additional wives. Raising 18 children, none of them actually expressed a desire to be a polygamist during an interview. It has never been completely ruled out, although some have been adamant. Now a thread has started on Reddit about how the brown kids never get into plural marriage and why. The family of sister wives gradually disintegrated. Cody and Mary are nothing more than friends, but she stays with the family out of loyalty. This is her chosen path, and she remains it. Admittedly, he and Janelle are just partners, but are no longer in love. There are rumors that she is leaving, but there is no real evidence. Kristen said goodbye when the marriage lost its intimacy and Robin is the only one he actually works with. Their 18 children faced the difficulties of polygamy and, admittedly, Christine wanted to separate many times. Cody has often wondered why he stays, so it makes perfect sense for any of the older kids to shirk. A thread has been launched on Reddit about why older kids don't want a polygamous lifestyle. It was noted that the children saw their mothers treat each other unkindly, as well as continued jealousy. Also, they felt lost when their father wasn't there when needed. A good example would be Cody staying at home when Isabel had surgery for her scoliosis. In addition, the children saw how Cody was rude to his wives when they did not obey his father. It is quite understandable why they did not choose this life. Another Reddit user believes things would be different if the kids continued to attend their church with like-minded people. Curious if Cody feels he has failed in his faith as none of his older married children have followed him. Which of the younger children do you think will choose polygamy or has this ship already sailed? Let us know about it in the comments.